Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is August 9, 2024, 4 o'clock in the morning, and we are here at OR Tambo International Airport in South Africa. This is one of our most anticipated trips because we are heading to one of the most beautiful cities in the world, Cape Town, South Africa. We booked our flights in Flysaf Air, one of the budget airlines here in South Africa. August is still winter in South Africa, but Cape Town's weather is known for its diversity, often experiencing all four seasons in a single day. We safely landed in Cape Town International Airport at about 8 o'clock in the morning. Here are some random facts about Cape Town. Number 1. Table Mountain Cape Town is home to Table Mountain, one of the new seven wonders of nature. The flat top mountain is a prominent landmark overlooking the city. Number two, two oceans. Cape Town is uniquely positioned near the meeting point of Atlantic and Indian Oceans, making it famous for its diverse marine life and beautiful beaches. Number three, Robin Island. Just off the coast of Cape Town is Robin Island, where Nelson Mandela was imprisoned for 18 years of his 27 years. Today, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a popular museum. Number 4. Penguins Cape Town is one of the few places in the world where you can see African penguins in the wild. Boulders Beach is famous for its colony of these charming birds. Our first stop is Two Oceans Aquarium. The Two Oceans Aquarium is a popular attraction located at the Victoria and Alfred waterfront in Cape Town. Named for its unique position near the confluence of the Atlantic and Indian Oceans, the aquarium showcases the diverse marine life from both bodies of water. The Two Oceans Aquarium is not just a place to observe marine life, it's also an educational hub where visitors can learn about the importance of ocean conservation and the diverse ecosystems that thrive in South African waters. This massive tank simulates the open ocean and features a variety of large fish, including rays and green sea turtles. Visitors can also enjoy the 10 meter long tunnel providing an immersive experience as fish swim overhead. Penguins are fascinating flightless birds known for their distinctive black and white color and their waddling walk. While most people associate penguins with icy Antarctica, these birds can be found in a variety of climates, from the freezing shores of the Southern Ocean to the temperate beaches of South Africa. And lost 
see we have Teddy. Teddy is our oldest rock upper. And of course, at the end of this tour is a souvenir shop. Just by chance, while roaming around the area, we found this bunch of seals. Time check, it's about 12 noon and we are all hungry. Now we are on a quest to find a good place to eat. But that is not so difficult here at the V&A waterfront because there are a lot of good restaurants. Finally, we settled in Harbor House just across Victoria Wharf. And because we are in Cape Town, we forget about steak or any other meat. We ordered just seafood because Cape Town is one of the few places here in South Africa where you can buy fresh seafood. And after that wonderful lunch, we are now heading to our next stop, V&A Waterfront Sunset Cruise. So this was supposed to be an hour yacht drive to see the sunset. However, during this time, we were very unfortunate that the weather is not on our side. It became so windy and later in the afternoon it rained a lot. So we weren't able to see the actual sunset. This was far from perfect, but nonetheless, I still enjoyed the actual experience.
end our first day here at Cape Town, we went to the famous Camps Bay. Camps Bay is one of Cape Town's most iconic and picturesque neighborhoods known for its stunning beach, upscale vibe, and breathtaking views. So that's all for now. See you for day two. Thank you.